Hi, it's Danielle from a deck called Homestead. So Mini Studying invited me to be part of a collaboration. It's about 30 random facts about myself. Woohoo! I made made a collaboration finally. So I'm making it out there. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get started. So number one, I am the youngest child of five. I am the baby of the family, and I'm the only girl, so you can figure that I was pretty spoiled and well protected by my older brothers. Number two, I love to hunt. Um, whenever I was a month pregnant with my daughter, I shot my first elk, and then whenever I was six months pregnant with uh, my little boy, I was up on the mountain shooting a deer, so uh, you can tell how much I do love it. I love it a lot. And I've also shot uh, other other deer, and I've shot an antelope. And uh, this last fall, I got an elk, uh, a cow elk. So that was awesome. And I also love to watch hunting channels. My favorite hunting channel out there right now on YouTube is Hushin Channel. So if you haven't checked them out, um, you should go check them out because you won't be disappointed. They're really well, genu genuine. Um, guys that hunt and uh, Casey Levere, the person who started the Hushin channel is actually from Idaho and currently lives in Idaho like I do. So number three, I have never been outside the western states. So as far south as I've been is Sacramento, California, as far west Boise, Idaho, as far north, Chalice, Idaho, and as far uh, east as um, Yellowstone Park. Number four, I have been married for almost 15 years. I got married one month out of high school, and in the 15 years that we have been married, we have not been outside the state of Idaho together. Unless if you count Jackpot, Nevada, but that's like two miles you know, over at the Idaho border, so we don't really count that. Uh, number five, I am a registered nurse. I went to college here at a community college at CSI and got my nursing degree. Uh, currently, I am working part-time uh, as a floor nurse on IP Surgical, and I'm pretty proud of myself for getting my nursing degree. Um, I did work full-time for about five years, um, but it got to be a little bit too much, as you, as, you know, most of you can understand if you've uh, had a nurse in your family that it's easy to get burnt out. Uh, I had my kids. I worked clear up to my due date with my children and uh, being on my feet all the time and all that and uh, worked full-time breastfed, did all that when I had my kids. So it was quite the commitment to breastfeed and have to pump at work. So uh, probably a lot of you ladies can understand that. I grew up on a small farm in a small farming community here in Idaho. I went to school at Casa Ford and there was less than 400 kids in that school. So it was very, very small. And I've been around uh, animals, and I've been around farming my whole life. Um, so probably a lot of the information that you get from my homesteading channel will probably be from my experience. All right, what is next here? I love to cook, and once I thought I would want to be a chef, but that didn't happen. Uh, number eight, I filled the first grade, boo. <laughs> uh, let's look here. I'm trying to read off of my list so I can stay organized. Number 11, I have dyslexia. So if you watch my video sometimes and I say things out of order, that is why. My brain tends to process things faster than my mouth. So there you go there if you wonder why I say things backwards sometimes. We have a Jack Russell Terrier that you have not seen, but he is insane. 
His name is Timmy. Whenever he was a puppy, he ate a firework. And we think that is why he's crazy. All right. I think I've missed one somewhere here, but I don't know exactly. Oh. So this will be number 12, I think, here. I love to fish. As a, I've already told you, I like to hunt, but I love to fish. From a young age, my dad used to take us fishing all the time. Like every weekend, like all summer long, we would go fishing. And I've got a like a strong passion for it. So as you can tell by watching my channel, we do, we do have some outdoor camping videos and then a fishing video. Um, we'll probably put a few hunting videos and uh, we'll probably go shed hunting. You'll see some hiking videos, kind of a variety of stuff. But that's something that we love to do is outdoor activities. And being in Idaho, we got a lot of opportunity to go. Number 13. <clears throat> I try to be organized. But you know what? I can't stick with it. Number 14. I had braces in high school. I don't know if you can tell. I kind of got bigger spaces in my teeth for some reason, though. But anyhow, um, I had them for two and a half years. Number 15. We want to go off grid in a few years. We will see. We've got um, some debt that we've got to get paid off first. I got my student loan, which is almost paid off. It's like, it's pretty awesome. We've got another what, a year and a half on that or less. So, number 16. I homeschool my daughter, and soon my son will be homeschooled. He just barely turned five, so he'll be starting kindergarten. Next year, and Kira will be starting her third grade lessons. Um, as you can imagine, working part-time and uh, <clears throat> having the homestead and all that, it's kind of hard. Whenever my husband and I work, my parents do watch the kids, and my mom does um, do the homeschooling whenever I am working. Growing up, number 17. Growing up, I only had one friend. So it kind of tells you how social I am so if uh, you might kind of notice it from my videos that I'm not a very social person and then whenever I met my husband then I had two friends so we met in, in high school as you can already tell from what I told you before we've been married for 15 years and we got married a month after I graduated from high school number 18 I am half Italian. I don't know if you can tell, probably not, but I mostly have the traits from my dad's side, which were German and all that. Number 19, I have an intolerance to lettuce. I cannot eat it. It makes me so sick. No matter if it's store-bought or homegrown, it makes me so sick. And I have a big garden all the time, <clears throat> which does not have lettuce in it. All right, <clears throat> so that was number 20. I have a big garden. Surprise! But anyhow, 21. I love the smell of coffee, but I cannot stand the taste. So when I was in nursing school, I had a, a strange routine. I would brew a cup of coffee, and then I would pour some in a cup, and then I would, like, set it by me while I was studying. And I just would, it, it would help me relax. There's the smell of it. As you can imagine, when I was in nursing school, I did a lot of studying. I can't drink caffeine now because, man, it makes me sick. And it makes my heart rate go through the roof. So I avoid it at all costs. 21, 22. So I love doing things for others. That's why I'm such a great nurse, but sometimes I neglect myself. Number 23. I love jerky. I am like addicted to jerky. I could eat it like all the time, no matter if it's beef, wild game. I did try a squid jerky. I, I ate it for a little while, and then the last time I got it, it made me puke. And then after that, I, didn't, I haven't gotten it since then. So, and then also fish jerky. Um, and then, uh, but you name it, I love it. As long as it's not too spicy, I will eat it. Number 24. I love to read outdoor adventures. 
I have, have I have a few books that are about an outfitter that outfitted in Idaho. I love his books. And a few that outfitted in Montana. I like to read those books a lot, just their hunting trips and all that. Which leads to number 25. My dream trip would be to pack in on a horse and do like a one to two week hunt. Like on big game. Deer, elk, whatever. Whatever there. And sleep in an outfitter tent. Or go on a, an Alaskan um, fishing trip. That would be fun. Number 26. So with uh, my kids, I had C-sections. I know a number of you that have been doing this uh, have said they had their kids at home. Nope, I couldn't do that. I didn't even try. Nope. And I had hor horrible experiences. Uh, actually, with my daughter, it was a bad experience. Because I went through 24 hours of labor and ultimately had to have a C-section. And the C-section was not fun. With my little boy, I had a scheduled C-section. It was a lot better. And he was actually born on uh, leap year day, uh, uh, you know, February 29th of 2012. And that's when my 39 weeks landed on. We didn't choose that by any means, but that's just what my 39 weeks landed on. That's whenever they do the C-sections when they're scheduled. Number 27. I don't know. I wonder things about people, you know, how, like, tall they are and stuff like that. So I added this in here. So I am 5'1 and 120 pounds, and I am, I am 34 years old. So I wonder people's age sometimes, too. I'm kind of weird like that. Yes. This is my natural hair color. It is a kind of a reddish strawberry blonde. I've never colored it. I love my hair. Number 29. I love horses. I've always wanted one, but never have had one. Number 30. Woo woo! Made it to the end. Hopefully I got them all. I don't know if I did or not, but number. 30 is, I hate wearing dresses. You will never see me in a dress. Growing up with five brothers, I was kind of a tomboy. I hated dresses. I never wore them. My husband has only seen me in two dresses. First one, my prom dress. We went to the prom together when we were in high school. And then my wedding dress. That was number two. Hope you enjoyed the 30 facts about me. Hopefully you learned a little bit about me uh, throughout this whole process here. I want to thank uh, Mini Studying for including me again. Um, if you haven't checked out Mini Studying, you need to go over there and check it out. They're they're an awesome channel. They're two they're really good people, and they've got the cutest little baby. Maverick is cute. Um, so part of the challenge is uh, we're supposed to uh, tag five five channels to do the challenge here so uh, I'm gonna tag Lumna Acres if you haven't watched Lumna Acres you need to go check them out Owl and and his family they're really cool people keeping it Dutch go check him out he's an awesome guy I love watching him all right number three Peacewood Homestead I think you're going to love this channel. He is awesome. He sings like folk songs and stuff during it. Yeah. Love his channel. Uh, Rin Bold Farm. Go check out his channel. He's pretty good too. Um, he's got a, um, some chickens and ducks and he's making a compost pile right now. So go check out John at Rin Bold Farms. <laughs> and then go check out Danny's Off Grid Flat. He's like a Scottish guy. I love listening to him talk. And uh, he does all kinds of shout outs and stuff like that too. So go check these channels out. Um, and uh, hopefully they do the challenge. We'll see, huh? But they're all great people. So that is it for my 30 random facts video. So please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see y'all later. Bye for now.